Hello. Hello, you. <laughs> Welcome to... Well, it's a vlog. We haven't seen this for a few weeks, so lucky old you. But we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. You probably needed a break as much as we did. Your eyes don't deceive you. It's normally 8.15 when we release a video on a Saturday. But this one clearly didn't come out at 8.15 on a Saturday. There's a reason for that. You're assuming that people tune in at 8.15 on I'm not assuming. <laughs> I'm just assuming. But we wang on that we always release at 8.15 on a Saturday. So... The reason we've not released this this week is because... Well, if you're watching this, we passed the test. <laughs> the COVID test. If you've never seen this footage before... This, no. None of this makes any sense. So yes, we passed our COVID test. We did. So we can now release this video because this video is about holiday packing and prepping. Don't worry, it's not about us packing our pants. We're not going to show you our pants. No, but we do have... Unless a... you want to see our pants. <laughs> Do not, do not comment below. We've got a box of holiday stuff, and we haven't seen it for a couple of years. You're right. You're going to fall over. Someone's got a bad leg. Well, uh, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to go through the holiday box, get some odds and sods out that we're going to take with us. I've got vouchers for shops that I signed up for to get discounts. So I'm going to take you through those if you're interested. Also, going to show you the kit that we take with us for vlogging because a number of you have asked over the years, what do we take? So I'm going to take you through that. That also links into. What do I put in my little man bag? <laughs> so it's kind of holiday prep. First of all, this morning, we need to go to dry cleaners to take some clothes. And also, you've got an ASOS parcel. Anyway, we'll be back, and we'll, then we'll show you that stuff for the holiday prep. Woo. We're back from doing chores. David is downstairs doing a little bit of breakfast for us. So while he's doing that, I thought I'd take you through what I have done in terms of shopping. So we're in America. We, you know, as you know, we like to shop. We've already picked out where we want to go. There's the old favourites of... Old Navy, because that's where I get all my blue shirts from. American Eagle, that's where I get my jeans from. Michael's, which is a arts and craft shop. And everyone's favourite, or our favourite, Target. So what I've done, I've gone onto their websites. There you go, Michael's website. I've put in the shop we're going to go to. And if you go to deals, coupons, lovely, see? Scroll down. There is a voucher, which is only valid for a week, so I'm not going to get it just yet, but it's 20% off. Nearer to us leaving, I will print off that coupon. Also, I've gone to the Target website. The offers are listed by category, but if you look in all, for example, offers on all kinds of delightful things. When you see one you like, I'm going to go for the coffee, save it. Once you save the offers, they appear in your account. Here are some of the ones I saved the other day. Listerine and Listerine strips. We like those Listerine strips. They're like a minty communion for your tongue. So you put them on your tongue and they just take away your dog breath when you're in the park. Ice cream, Larabars, we love a Larabar, a dollar off. They also do deals on booze. You don't get the cash off, but you get a voucher back. And look, they've also got coffee, Starbucks coffee, a dollar fifty off. So they're just some of the vouchers that you can get, but there are I would say there's hundreds and they've got a different expiry date. Some are for this week, some are for next week, some of they go on to the next month. But once you've, you've saved them to your online account, then they appear in your saved offers. All you need to do to redeem it is show that barcode. Once you click on, you get a barcode. You can bring that up on your phone or you can present the voucher. So I think it's worth having a mooch around on the Target website, signing up, choosing the store that you want to to do your redemption in. So that's Marshalls and Target. What else have I done? I have saved, oh yeah, Old Navy. I love a shirt from Old Navy. If you go to the Old Navy website, look, if you're a new customer, sign up online, you get 20% off your first order in store and online. So again, it's worth looking at what shops you might want to go to when you go on holiday, see what vouchers are available if you sign up for an email. If you're going and it's your birthday, you'll also get some kind of Brucey bonus for your birthday as well. Also signed up to American Eagle. I love the jeans on American Eagle. They've got stretch built in, which if you're of a certain shape and size is very handy. So also American Eagle, when you sign up on their email, for your first order, you should also get a discount. So that's what we've been doing on the run up to this trip. Looking at the shops we want to go to, shops and restaurants, and seeing if there's any coupons that we can get that we can use while we're out there. So we've got vouchers for Marshalls, Discount coupons for Target, Old Navy, and American Eagle. Right, now it's time for a bit of breakfast, and then later, I'm gonna take you through the kit. Some of it is over there, some of it's on the table, some of it's all around the house. Take you through the kit we're gonna to take to the parks, and then also go through the holiday box to see what's in there. Sometime later, at the moment, I am transferring footage from old memory cards onto the hard drive and we'll i'll talk about this tech and kit at some point later plan now 
at 20 to 3 on a Saturday afternoon. Hello. David's been cleaning the house, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, because I don't think we get time again before we go away. So David's been doing that, but now I'm going to go and look at the holiday box and suitcases, which is all a bit of a mess upstairs. <laughs> so come, come join us for that. Oh, bedroom. Bedroom really is a mess. Some clothes. In other news, this is the, uh, what do you call it, the bedding that I got from Habitat weeks ago. Oh yeah, it's nice I bedding. said I'd show it when it's on the bed. There it is, on the bed with Doug. Yeah, these are the shirts I'm taking, or thinking about taking, obviously including Travel Day shirt. Oh, Batman's kind of lost his mojo. There he is. So that's what the bedroom up. looks like. Yes, we're going upstairs. Oh, in other news, David bought this up picture the other week. Another up picture to replace the one that was there. How, well, I think it's amazing. It's from Pulse Gallery. And it's number 60, I think, of so many. Pulse Gallery. Will we leave details below? Yeah, we'll leave details below. Um, right, upstairs. I don't know what you've done to my office. Messy office, look. It doesn't normally look like this. Suitcase galore. Is that clean or dirty laundry? It's dirty. Dirty laundry. Oh. Don't show my dirty laundry. Um, tea bags, which we're taking to America as a gift to someone. There's um, Shaw now do a 96 hour deodorant. Yeah, I'm not sure what you're trying to say. I know she gave it me. 96 hour protection. Look what I found on the printer. It's my voucher that I got, that I printed off earlier when I did the sign up for American Eagle. Yeah, 10% off. David's doing one as well, aren't you? David's doing one as well, aren't you? I'm a Wilderness Explorer. Isn't it? Yep, okay. We... Oh, peonies. <laughs> There are pants down there, but I'm not going to show you. We've decided we're going to drive up to Heathrow. When we did our Walt Disney World booking vlog the other week up there, we hadn't decided on how we get to the airport. We had the option of booking a taxi from Southampton to Heathrow, a return anywhere between 200 and 300 quid. That's far too much money. Yeah. So we decided if we only take three suitcases, we can fit them in the car we've got. Yeah. And that's about 250 quid if we take the car and park it at Heathrow. We don't pay for fuel because of the rental we have, so... Yeah, it's part of the on We save money on the travel. Yeah, so it'll just be the car park and not the fuel. So that's what the plan is at the moment. Anyway, let's look at the travel box. This is the box that we've had for years. You know when you're trying to pack for your holiday, you're like, oh, where's so-and-so? And do I need that? And so we just tend to just kind of now put stuff in a box. Oh, David's putting on all the hats and all the neck attires. Oh, travel kettle. Yes, we are those people. We do like a cup of tea when we're away. Particularly like a cup of tea in a hotel room and in a paper cup because tea in a paper cup is super hot and it's super lovely. That's a new one as well because the last one didn't stop boiling. It just kept on going. <laughs> Disneyland Paris, it just boiled and boiled and then... <laughs> <laughs> I think almost, that might be a fire risk. <laughs> almost scolded ourselves, so we left it in the bin <laughs> at Disneyland awesome. Paris. So we got a new one, and I budget three tea bags a day per person. One in the morning, one from we come home midday for a little afternoon siesta, one before bed. So three tea bags each per day. So that's that will be going with us, along with sweeteners. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, back to the box. Eye mask, and also eh, those little waxy things you put in your ears you know you cover your ear so you get it so it's quiet they're like they're not earplugs is the word <laughs> looking for. But, I was like what are you trying to but say but they're like plasticine because you put them in and you don't yeah, shove them mold. in your hole you you literally cover the whole of your ear yeah and it makes it more quiet than yeah. just like a foamy one oh we've got some dishwasher tablets that's because when we went to center parks um, they only, or when you go anywhere like a villa they only give you like one or two yeah. and what we don't want to do when in America is buy like a massive bag of 50 dishwasher tablets either to leave them which is a waste mm. or bring them home which is a waste of um, valuable packing space so we, we kind of put we keep the ones we don't use always like a shower foo foo mm -hmm. they were from Ikea I think they're a pound so every time we go we pick some more up so we've got shower foo foos this is good this we bought last time but we've never really had the chance to use it so we got it in target american plug with usb multiple charger so it's i feel really like good. rather than taking one from the uk with the british plug and convert it just get an american one so that is definitely new for this trip some random elvis type sunglasses which Ooh. 
I'll explore. <laughs> oh, these are your cheesy ones. Got these for the first trip. Then I realised, actually, are they UVA, UVB protection? I don't know if they were. Oh, they and then since, you know, lockdown, I've not, re I've not really worn contact lenses. I've been wearing mid Trank Butcher reactor light ones. You huh. did genuinely buy these to wear. Yeah, and I would have. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? How rude. A little bag, which has got Dramamine, because... <laughs> and also, what do you call them? Packamax. Um, ponchos. That's the one. Ponchos and Dramamine. For any good park day. <laughs> An array <laughs> of plugs. There's actually... Are these the American or the international there's ones? American Apple, which is quite useful. That is American Duo with USB. Yeah. Well, these are good. These are good. We don't just buy any old tut. In a separate bag, we've got European chargers. Keep them in separate bags, otherwise you end up taking the ones you don't need. Oh, I see. I'm going to do a Dell boy. <laughs> <laughs> watchers, watchers. Magic bands. <laughs> so many magic bands. Oh, last time we went in 2020, got that one. That's that's the one I'm going to be... Oh, actually, I'm going to use my watch, aren't I? Are you? Mm. I'm going to use magic band. I've got an annual pass holder Star Wars one. Nice, which we're not annual pass holders anymore. We've got a Racket Ralph. Oh. Racket Ralph. Racket. Racket. Racket Ralph. Racket Ralph. Ralph a Racket. And then a range of oh, colours. Camera's really close. <laughs> I need to shave and do da la. Anyway, um, I like the blue one. So that's that. Oh, also more. And then some we've never used before. Cause you used to get them with your hotel room, didn't you? As standard. Can you remember back in the good old days? Used also, look. Oh, the Star Wars one. We got from the first day of. It grand opening of Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, that's cool. Never been used. Probably never be used now because their the battery's probably dead after all these years. Oh, there's an old. I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, no me No, either. we don't either. There's one of my old man bags. I've updated my man bag the last few years. But also, there's more um, ponchos in there, and some anti back wipes. Oh. Ultra Sun Sport. Yeah, always keep a extra sun cream. It's um, only thirty though. I think we normally like fifty, don't we? 50. This skin ain't had no sun for about like, three years, so we've got 50, which is in a different box down there. The sun cream should match your age. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Oh, fuzzy brush. For those times you can't really brush your teeth on a plane, fuzzy brush, they're little things you chew that's like little bristly things. And also, Colgate Max Fresh. These are little individual toothbrushes with little picks as well. Don't use them all the time. Oh, smell very minty though. Fuel rod. It's the box of the fuel rod. So fuel rod, cables. if you remember, fuel rod is the charger you can buy at Disney for, it used to be $20. And when it emptied, you could put it in the machine and another one would pop out. Now you have to pay for it. So anyway, so we've still got the little cables which we do use. A calling towel. Everyone loves those. Everyone loves a calling towel. These, what is that? Oh, clippers, hair and face clippers. Because these nose and ears don't clip themselves. But these <laughs> these ones, this is, hello, this is one we bought in America because the voltage is so different. If we, if you take a UK one, it doesn't really work. So we specifically bought a cheap one with American plug so that we can use in the States. So that's why it's in the holiday box. Chalk. Chalk. <laughs> That's for when we went to centre parks. This is centre parks. Centre parks, you get a blackboard in your in your apartment, but they've stopped providing chalk because of COVID, so we bought chalk. It's my box or my magic band. You rack it, Ralph. Oh, there's a few little toiletries, which they can go in the uh, toiletry jar. And from a house vlog the other week, all the toiletries that we got from a hotel and stuff. And body shop stuff. We've put in a little jar, so when people come to stay, if, they, if you forget anything, it's there. So that can go in there. Oh, it's another GoPro hand sleeve. We need that. Yeah, so that needs to come out. Scales, so you can weigh your suitcase, so you know if it's under or over. Foo-foo. Another shower foo-foo. And this is the key ring that we keep. The keys and the locks for the suitcases. What is it? It's a key ring with the keys and the locks for the suitcases. What is it? Oh, I just realised because of Dory. Then what we, what we normally do is that we both take a set of keys each on our own key rings, one for each other's case. So if, God forbid, one of us loses our keys, the other one's still got the other one. Everything. Yeah, so yeah. little keys Always and Always take two of everything and split it. Same with the clothes. We're going to... Don't put all your own clothes in one case because if you lose your case... 
you've lost all of your clothes. Whereas if you share a case, you only lose half your clothes. But don't put all your shirts in there. Put some shirts on pants. Oh, God. What's, you've got really monotonous in your voice. Oh, I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't put all your gay, your clothes in. No, because it's, it's, I'm being factual. But don't put all, like... Don't put all your shirts and all your shorts and all your pants in one case. You have to split it and mix it up because you don't want to lose all your shirts or all your pants. Ideally, you don't want to lose anything. But we use... I love packing cubes. We've got packing cubes downstairs and I'm going to no, roll... Use David's a folder. I'm a roller. I put my stuff in packing cubes. Just take it out of the suitcase. Put it in the drawer in the hotel room or villa. Job done. I haven't got a fanny around. David, on the other hand, likes to fold his suits. My su- suits. <laughs> <laughs> David likes to fold his shirts. You know. <laughs> he likes to fold his shirts. And I'm like, I ain't life's too short for that. I ain't doing that. Anyway, also, handy tip, put a day's worth of clothes in your hand luggage. T shirt, pants, socks, shorts yeah. if you've got room. Because in the unlikely event that your luggage goes missing, you've still got a change of clothes in your hand luggage and you can at least wash one, wear one, because you've got the kit you've got on at the moment. So don't put everything in the same suitcase. Split it, mix it. It's like we did a risk assessment. <laughs> I'm just, these are the control measures. I'm just a, I'm a control freak, as, uh, as well you know. So, that's the contents from the holiday box. And then you've got plasters. Oh, we've got a few bits, yeah. Since I damaged my ankle, one foot is larger than the other. So, because of that, ever since my foot, I get blisters whatever shoes I wear. It doesn't matter what shoes I wear, so I always have to wear blisters. A bit like one of your boobs. One of your boobs is bigger than the other. Is it left or right? Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> What was that giggle? Yeah, anyway. But I need plus basically that's why I get through Compede. It's like I need shares in Compede. And then in here we've got more Compede. <laughs> <laughs> anti back. People used to laugh at me when I got on a plane and anti backed and then You go back and look at those vlogs. We were anti backing <laughs> before any of this pandemic malarkey. <laughs> now we monkeypox. <laughs> yeah. That's not a joke about that. No we're not. Anyway, so we've got a Troll through this, the stuff that's in the room next door. Put it in a case. I'm going to spend the afternoon ironing now. Doing those shirts and some t-shirts. But what I've still got to show you is the kit we're taking for vlogging. Are you still yeah. there? No, I'm still <laughs> And also how we do it, because we number the cards. Yeah, anyway. So we'll show, we'll show you, you that tomorrow. Yeah. Right. right. We're going to have speedy pizzas for tea. So we'll probably see people in the morning, to be honest, because you don't want to see me ironing. I mean, the vlogs are a new low anyway, but but let's not let's not do an ironing video. But actually, I might Google to see if there are ironing videos because I bet there is on YouTube because everything's on YouTube. But I'm going to anyway. stop talking now. We'll see you in the morning. Three, two, one. Oh, one afternoon. No watch. <laughs> I've no idea what time it is. It's definitely after twelve o'clock, so I didn't wake up till twelve. Because I didn't go to bed till two, and then I was uh, I wasn't very well this morning. I think partly hangover, partly eating stuff I shouldn't eat. Anyway, I mean that's a David update for you. <coughs> David's going to go and have a shower while I <laughs> take you through the tech that we're bringing. He's going to be like a total geek now and just like show you all his toys now. <laughs> anyway, off you pop, go and Bye. clean your bits. So, what kit do we take to the park when we're vlogging? This is kind of it. Canon G7X Mark II, which is the camera we bought when we started vlogging. It's the vlogger's camera. The plan was to use that. We weren't really going to use GoPro. And then, as you may or may not know, three days before our trip, David fell down the steps at the front of the flat, knackered his ankle, went to casualty. They were like, yeah, by the way, you broke your ankle when you were 15, which you had no idea. And they said, yeah, no, you just have to, you know, grin and bear it. No point putting it in a cast. So that meant he had a stick for our very first trip link up there and we ended up using gopro on wrist strap and that's what we've really done mostly for the blogs using gopro with canon mostly when it's dark because gopro doesn't film in the dark so the plan was always to use canon g7 x mark ii on the little mini tripod if we're filming in shops the gopro is sometimes okay but it's got a very limited focus range if you hold stuff too close to it it's a bit blurry you don't really see it so you kind of need to be that distance with the GoPro. Not always great when you're trying to film stuff in shops. So David now uses his phone. So the Canon, we don't really use very often or a lot during a trip or haven't, but then we've not done a trip for a while. Aside from the GoPro wrist strap, which is the one that literally goes around your thumb and your hand, we learn always take a spare. 
Sometimes if you don't release that catch there, which allows it to rotate, I have had on occasion one that rattles and you can hear it on the camera. So I always take a spare one with me now. Sometimes we'll put a GoPro on the dashboard of cars. And for that, we will use the stick on shoe. Stick that on there, that on there, that goes in there. GoPro goes on that. We'll take two anyway, just in case. We also take a spare GoPro. As new ones come out every autumn, we seem to upgrade. The 9, I'm not a fan of. I spoke about this before. GoPro 9, some of them, when they re were released, had a weird clicking sound. When you put the camera on for the first minute, GoPro never really resolved that problem. And if you look at the forums, there's loads of people complaining about it. So not a lover of the GoPro 9, but the GoPro 8, really love this version so we take that with us on a previous vlog we both worn one of these and both had a gopro at the same time don't do that very often but it's there if you need it and also should anything happen to the one that we're using got a spare one and i feel like we've got it so we might as well take it and it's small and handy so we always take a spare with us as well the thing we take the most of are batteries lots of batteries you can never have too many batteries they're the batteries for the canon these are some of the batteries for the GoPro. You can never have too many batteries. Also, memory cards, memory cards galore. Amazon and shops do deals on memory cards through the year, so we keep an eye out and then we stock up. Lots of memory cards, memory cards, memory cards in a case, memory cards in a case. Oh, also, that's a little lens cleaner. Always clean your lens. In the first series we filmed, we didn't realize we had dirty lenses on cameras. So every day, we try and remember to check the lens. If it's dirty, give it a clean. For that, we've also got, which I can't find, so it's good that I'm doing this, a little pen cleaner thing for your lens. Here it is on Amazon. That thing, there you go. Cleans your lens, got a little brush, little end that cleans it. So we have that, but can I find it? No, so you might think that is an obscene amount of memory cards. Why do you need that many? We're a bit paranoid that should we have a corrupted card, which sometimes happens, and it happened a couple of years ago when we went to our friend's 40th birthday and also we went to Disneyland Paris, we had a couple of corrupted cards and that contributed to us losing the footage. We know there's a few vloggers who we follow who have been in the same situation where the cards have been corrupted or they've lost their footage and felt absolutely gutted for them so we try and minimize that as much as possible what we like to do is have one card per day or half day and then we don't use it again hence we've got so many memory cards oh link to that we've also got this bit of kit co-pilot basically it's a hard drive and power pack i think we saw a number of years ago remember damien india lovely vloggers they got one of those and we thought you know what it makes perfect sense. So what you do is you can plug your memory card into it, use the DJI app, and then you can transfer the footage from the memory card onto that hard drive. You've not got to plug it into a computer, it just does it straight by sticking the card in. So what we do every day is that we will film on memory card, that memory card we will keep, but we'll also transfer it to that hard drive, which means we've got a copy on there and a copy on the memory card, and as we're not using that card again until we come back, we hope that's enough to make sure that the footage is secure. Link to that. David shaving his head, if you can hear a buzzing noise. Well, I hope he's shaving his head. Link to that is this. Every trip, I have a little notebook. This is from Disneyland Paris back in 2019. What I do every day, and this is the control freak in me, at the start of the day, I've got the date, and then I'll put down which memory cards we're using of which camera hence the reason why the memory cards are all labeled labeled with letters and then once we get back i will jot down what we did that day or what we did that morning or whatever's on that memory card i'll go through chronologically while it's fresh in my mind either when we come home at lunchtime or over an evening and go this is what we did this, this is what we filmed if there's anything of note that we might want to use for a trailer or definitely put in the vlog i'll write it down the reason i do that is by the time we come to edit, which sometimes could be a month, two months later, if it's a long trip, I'm not going to remember. And then you've got to sort through your footage. And we tend to film quite a lot every day. We find having a record written down is easier 
than winging it. On this day, 14th of Feb 2019, Main Street went to Discovery Land for Line Drop, into Bars, from Bars to Small World, onto Dumbo, went to the Bobos, which is the horses of the carousel. Then we wait for line drop in the adventure land. Da, da, da. So it's literally just write down what we did each day. So I keep a book for each series. It's a bit of a discipline, particularly late at night when you come back and you're like, I just want to go to bed. Just want to go to bed. Writing it down, we found has made a world of difference when we come to sit down a month, two months later, and we go, what do we do that day? What 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 is this vlog we're going to do? So that's my little tip. Write it down. Once you've copied that footage to the co-pilot, then take the memory card. It goes in here gets locked and then that goes in the safe so we don't touch that again until we come home and this always goes in hand luggage never put it in your case so that's the kit we're taking canon lots of cards lots of batteries spare gopro hand grips chargers every day we come back from the park first thing i do after washing my hands charge up batteries change camera update book not sure if that's useful for anyone but that's what we're taking with us on this trip also been asked over the years what is in your little man bag never really answered it now we're going back it's a good chance for me to well make sure everything's in it and take you through what's in this bag before we went in 2018 which is the first proper time we went together we realized we needed a bag for the parks but i didn't want to wear a rucksack neither of us wanted a rucksack i get really sweaty florida's hot and sweaty rucksack on my back not pretty, not fun. So I knew I didn't want anything on my back. I wanted to carry it around my neck. and I didn't want it to be massive because I don't want to be like a pack horse laden down in a park. So I looked on Amazon and I found this bag. Essentially, you can hold it by the top. It's got a strap that goes around your neck. You can put it on your belt if you want, which I've never done. It's small and compact. It's got separate compartments and it's waterproof because there will be some rides that will be getting wet and I don't want to be carrying around a sodden cloth bag so it, this bag ticked all the boxes couldn't tell you how much it cost this is the second one I've had in five years only because even though it takes a lot inside I think I've probably pushed it to its limits and one of the dividers split after a couple of years which is no fault of the bag Otherwise, I wouldn't have got another one. But there is a limit of how much you can squeeze in. And I think I'm pretty much up to that limit now. It's got a flap with a little pocket. And then it's got two zipped compartments. One of those compartments has got a divider in it. So it's essentially got one, two, three, four spaces in that bag. It's really sturdy. If you're on a ride and you put it in the footwell, you can grab it easily. It's easy to just sling around your neck. This strap doesn't really rub, so no blistering. Kind of robust, sturdy. Is it attractive? I don't dislike it. It's done this really well. Not the prettiest thing, but certainly not the ugliest. So what's in here for our day in the park? In the front flap, this is again, perhaps me being a bit of a control freak, but I don't like pain and I don't like being irritated. So this is more of a like first aid, don't feel ill, yeah. Anyway, I'll show you. These are dextrose energy sugar tablets. Many a time we've sat down and gone, oh, a little bit tired. Got a bit of a time before we lunch or dinner. Have a little sugar tablet. Perhaps I won't be using those as much since my diabetes diagnosis, but sometimes you just need a bit of a sugar rush just to get you through the lull you're feeling. Spare contact lenses, two paracetamol. Don't need a massive pack of 24. Take a couple, if you use them, replace them when you get back to your hotel or your villa. Forehead, if you get a headache, sometimes, if you don't want to take a tablet or the tablet doesn't work, menthol stick for your headache, perfect. Blister plasters, indigestion tablets, lactose tablets. You're probably aware, if you're a regular viewer, David is lactose intolerant. And you can get these tablets in America or Holland and Barra and Boots, I think, now do them. You take these and it allows you to be more tolerant towards lactose. Very handy when you're on holiday or on trips because you don't have absolute control on what lactose may or may not be in your food. So we always take some of these to the park. Oh, Listerine Fresh Burst. These are what I mentioned earlier. On the Target app, I've selected a coupon for these. I'll show you the big pack of this. You used to be able to get them in the UK, but I don't think you can anymore. These are 24 little minty strips that will help freshen your breath. We all have those moments during the day where things maybe not as fragrant. Lift it up, comes out this little, it looks like plastic strip. On your tongue. Ooh. And then it dissolves 
and then gives you a minty burst. That's why I call them minty communions. Although what we found during lockdown, never have one of these and wear a mask because it will make your eyes water. But on those days when things are a little bit hot and you've not had a drink, that, if you were people in the queue, very helpful. Oh, we always take a lip salve that also has uh, UVA, UVB protection. That's a 30. Oh, anti-blister stick, AKA chub rub. Sometimes you don't always have a blister on your feet. You might get elsewhere or you might get a bit of rubbage. Anti-blister stick basically gives a little bit of lubrication, stops it rubbing, take a blister stick. Oh, Imodium. Don't want your day spoiled by an upset tummy. A little bit of Imodium. Just in case, if you've got it, you don't use it, good. Don't have it and you need it, not so great. That's everything that goes in that front flap. Right, pocket number one. This is the time we're living in. We're gonna be taking masks. They'll be in there, should we need them. Little spare plastic baggie from Ikea. These are great. They do different sizes. This one particularly because if you've got a water ride or it's raining and you've got your ID or your passport, stick it in there. And then when you stick it in there, double protection. So take a spare bag, a couple of ponchos, just in case it rains, two lots of wipes, one for your hands and extremities, one for, well, yeah, one for that, just in case. All right, that's that section. Final section, what's in here? This is camera related. Earlier you saw batteries and little memory card box. Put those in the bag, they, go in that section but yeah little separate baggy with batteries and memory cards this will also have the lens cleaner the pen thing that I spoke about earlier when I find it will go in there and one thing that also goes in there which isn't there at the moment is a lolly stick a used lolly stick because some of the GoPros very difficult to get the memory card out it's, it's behind the battery and if you haven't got a long nail you, you can't get it so a little wooden lolly stick is perfect so weirdly i take a lolly stick with me just in case i need to be able to get a memory card out that i can't use because i've either chewed my nail down or the heat has caused things inside the camera to expand the only things in there are a couple of graze bars if the sugary dextrose tablets aren't good enough we have a little vegan bar no dairy restock them as and when you use them in your bag handy if you need a little snack stops either of us being hangry because ain't nobody need to be hangry in a park and then the last thing is my fuel rod to charge my phone because everything is on your phone the genie the app everything that you need to do in a park these days is now tailored to using your phone my phone's really old it doesn't hold its charge so i'll definitely be using that what i do need to find is a little small cable that will connect it to my phone so that is what is in my little man bag that I will take into a park. If there's anything different in your bag compared to ours that you think we should take, that we don't take, that we haven't thought of, then leave a comment below. So if you're still with us after that informative chat. <laughs> Thank you. you. You deserve a medal. Ian will be issu issuing them. It's, issuing. it's now Thursday. <laughs> David's just finished work. So he's officially in holiday mode. On annual leave. I've got one more day to go and then, yeah. That's it, we're off. Picked up dry cleaning, all my clothes are ready, just need to put it in a case, mow the lawn tomorrow, and uh, away we go. And we will return to Walt Disney World 827 days <sighs> since we left in February 2020. Oh, so excited. So I'm going to try not to cry. So the next time you see us, it will be, I don't know, Where? Some, something to do with the trip. Woohoo! Right. We'll see you in Some the point. next video. Thank Take you care. for watching. Oh, we're not very in sync, are we? We better sort this out. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Chaos. When I talk, you don't talk. Oh, when finished. you talk, I don't talk. Right, I'm off now. Bye. Bye. <laughs>